Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a blessed and beautiful day today. So much is happening. I'm going to give you a few brief um, updates to what is going on. Um, I am not looking at the articles. It's just going to be from my memory. So if it's you know not word for word, don't don't quote me. But um, just a lot of stuff has happened just today, and it's happening rapidly and just so so fast. So we'll start off with the newest one is um, the new moon has been spotted in Israel. So we are officially in the Feast of Trumpets. So um, keep your eyes out, guys. This is, like everybody says, this is high watch time, um, which we know that we're watching the skies. We're watching for Jesus. We're listening for the trumpets. Um, I believe that there's a high probability that he could come during this time. Um but if he does not come during this time, just keep your heads up and know that, you know, with everything that's going on, he's showing his people and he's trying to wake us up and trying to wake up his people to know that the time is at hand. Um, if it doesn't happen during this particular time frame, does not mean that he is not coming, let's say this year. Um, I firmly believe just in my personal, in my own opinion, that he is coming this year, but, um, you know, that's just my opinion only. I don't know the day or hour. I'm just saying, I believe that with everything that's going on just in September alone, I believe that this year is going to be a very explosive year. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, I hope I'm not, I want to go home, but, um, so excuse the dogs. They are (laughs) chasing a mouse. Um, (laughs) anyways, um, so there's that, um, we have the oil pipeline that was, um, exploded in the Russian sea. Um, everybody is very convincing and showing evidence and proof that it quite possibly could have been done on purpose by the u.s um and if that is the case then world war three has just begun um we knew that it was kind of starting before but it wasn't really it was just like a powder keg just waiting to go off um and if it is comes out that america is the one that blew up that pipeline then it is full-blown war um which that's going to be the what's going to start this whole thing um, and, um, what else? Oh, the heifers, we've got the, the, the red heifer, um, which I'm, I'm shocked to hear that some people are saying that there's no significance to those heifers because it really, there is, because if they wanted to just sacrifice something just to, just for the sake of practice or whatever, they would continue to use the things that they've been using, but those red heifers are very significant in the event that, um, they're going to be ready, um, for Passover, which is, you know, extremely significant. Um, there was an article that came out, uh, today that said that they were thinking about using one of them that they received from Texas. They were going planning on using one of them as um, a sacrifice within a year. And they purchased a plot of land on the Mount of Olives that they were going to do that on. Um, so the Mount of Olives, I mean, come on. Stop, Dixie. She, <laughs> she wants that mouse. Um, so you know, all of these things are coming together and a lot of people are not watching and God gives us these prophecies and things that are happening in the world and globally. We have also the global um, economy just went down and there has to be a global, you know, it's different if it's just one region, but when it's global, that's when you really need to pay attention. Um, You know, because if it's global, that means that there's somebody is going to come in and try to fix that situation, right? Um, So, you know, we've got all of these things that are happening globally with everything predicted and planned that might be coming out also in the future, such as illnesses and whatever. Um, We've got 
the Abrahamic house. We've got, uh, you know, these cows. We've got the new moon. We've got the Feast of Trumpets. We've got all of these things that are happening. And, you know, I was trying to explain to uh, a commenter earlier, and I think it's easier if I just speak it. And sometimes, you know, when you write something, it, you can't under hear, you can't hear the tone of voice. But, um, you know, this, this year is a Jubilee year, which comes every isn't it like every seven years? Don't I don't know because I'm not sure about Jew, Jewish traditions. But if I'm not mistaken, I think it's every seven years. And then it, it kind of goes back and forth. And then it goes like seven years of good and plenty um, and, and good years. And then it's like seven years of famine and, and um, judgment. Well, this was a jubilee year, which is ending the good plenty year. And it's going to be going into the years of judgment. So that goes along with the Bible too. If we're seeing all of these things happen now, then we know that, you know, seven years, if there's going to be judgment, um, you know, that judgment is, could possibly be the tribulation. I, I do not see and foresee, I do not whatsoever 100% see us here in seven years. Um, You've got some people that are saying, well, if Jesus doesn't come during the Feast of Trumpets or during the Shemitah, then we've got seven more years to go. And that I don't believe that that's accurate whatsoever, um, because that would put the church in the middle of the tribulation. And we are going to be out before the tribulation. So, um, and the tribulation is literally about to start, um, so with all of that, you know, the tribulation getting ready to start, we can see the evidence of that right now. If that's the case, then we have to be out of here before any of this stuff can go down. And like I said in my, one of my previous videos, that Abrahamic house, you know, they aren't telling you when, when it's supposed to open. You know, they signed the thing, the covenant, they, what they call it. I hate how they use the word covenant because, you know, it, people don't pay attention but um, so they have this covenant that makes Chrislam the world religion. Well, there's a lot of people that don't know about that. So they don't pay attention. They don't understand it. But then you have the Abrahamic house that is going to be open this year. And they keep saying it's going to open this fall, but they don't tell you when. And it's, it's kind of goes along with my video, my last video, where I said, no one knows the day or the hour. Well, it's the same thing with this Abrahamic house. No one knows the day or hour this thing is going to open. And I think it's done like that on purpose because I believe that that might be where the Antichrist might go into or somehow come out of or um, be uh, revealed from or something like that, because they can't really open it until the church is gone. And I just, I feel that within my, in my soul, I feel that that's, that's what that is because they, they aren't telling you the date because they don't know the date themselves. They don't know the day that the church is going to be gone. Um, because I find it quite interesting that, yeah, they don't tell you the day that it's going to open. And I'm kind of curious to see if we are still here, are they going to postpone the opening of it? Or are they going to go ahead and open it? But I firmly believe that that's somewhere, somehow where it's going to coexist with the, um, the Antichrist. Um, you know, these things that are happening, you know, the Feast of Trumpets, it's extremely, extremely interesting. I have never really looked into it. Not at all. I have not until this year. And there has been some pretty convincing things that have shown. Just not, you know, not necessarily saying, oh, the rapture is going to happen during the Feast of Trumpets. But just the, the history of it, what it, what it is and what, what they believe it is and how it just sounds so much like a rapture. It's not even funny. Um, I heard a pastor yesterday um, he said that the Jews believe that the Feast of Trumpets is also called the Marriage of the Messiah, I believe. I think that's what he said, Marriage of the Messiah, um, which struck me because I had never heard that before. Um, so, you know, the 
it's just amazing to to pay attention to but and I hope that it happens I hope that we will be going home I hope that you know um we'll hear those trumpets that we'll hear the the call for us to come up um I believe that it's going to happen at some point I believe it's going to happen this year at some point um but you know all we can do is just pray and, um, you know, ask the Lord for his mercy on his people and to just, you know, rapture us, take us home because there are so many of us that want to go home. We long for Jesus. We long for him. And, you know, I myself am one of them, you know, and I desperately long for him. I want to go home. I want to everything that he has prepared for me and everybody. And I want most importantly to see him face to face. I want to just wrap my arms around him and just thank him for what he has done. And just, Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. I want to go home. Um, but may it be today. I just pray that it is today that we go home. So, but, um, anyways, guys, just keep your heads up. Just keep, keep watch, keep, you know, keep praying, you know, um, be in one accord with each other that Jesus is coming and that maybe it's today. Um, keep updated on the things that are going on. I'm trying to, um, update you also just, there's some things that I don't share on here because I can't. Um, but on my telegram, I definitely do. There's a lot of other things that are going on that I can't talk about here, but those are the key points that I wanted to share. Um, most importantly being the new moon has been sighted. Um, so the trumpet blasts will begin and, you know, we'll have to just wait and see. I mean, one second we're going to be here and one next second we're going to be with the Lord. So I pray it's, I pray it's today, but anyways, guys, I love you. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and, you know, keep prayed up guys. We'll, I'll just keep in touch with you and, and, uh, you know, we'll keep going. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.